Good morning, everyone. It is April the 12th. My name is Pastor Tim at First Assembly God in Burlington, Kansas. And I want to encourage you that if this weekend is this Friday, Sunday's on the way. And I would like to invite you to come out and join us for church on Sunday and, and be a part of what God's doing on April 14th. And uh, it's going to be a great day. But I also want to encourage you to come out. If you don't have a church in Coffee County, our church service starts at 1030. We're located at the corner of 9th and Yuba. And we also have a, a site church, Hartford, Kansas. We meet at 1.30 uh, on Sundays there at the Senior Center and love to have you out. So come join us. It's going to be a great time and we'll hope to see you at one of the, one of the sites. Well, we're going to continue on with grace. See, grace is where you discover who you were born to be. See, maybe that Meshibosheth didn't see anything but a dead person, wouldn't be able to accept what God has called him, didn't accept that he would be royalty. Now David looked down at him and restored his place in the palace. See, we too were born to be royalty in the kingdom of God, but sin dethroned us. See, an intimate position as royalty, not merely with Meshibosheth going given a position of royalty, but he was also given a position of a fam as family. Verse 11, as one of the king's sons. So he was now, not only was he put back in the royalty, he became one of the king's sons. See, God's grace won't just make us servants or just, just a royal priesthood, but sons and daughters of God. See, this, is, this was the position of fellowship. He, he always had the king's ear. He ate at the king's table. You have a place at the table. All you have to do is embrace the grace. But a perpetual position, that means it's continued. David made it clear that this position wasn't a passing fancy. It was meant to be. Verse 7, continually, he says. As long as David sat on the throne, Meshibosheth would never have to worry about anything taking his royal seat away. See, we have his provision anytime we need it, day or night. We have his provision eternity. But let me conclude with this, that God is where you embrace God's favor at the son's expense. See, Meshibosheth wasn't receiving grace on the basis of what he, he'd done, but on the basis of what Jonathan, his father, had done. Verse 7, for Jonathan's thy father's sake. See, likewise, we are not receiving God's favor on the grounds of our own goodness or works, but on the basis of the works of Jesus Christ. Grace has been called God's reward at Christ's expense. See, we must live in the achievement of another. Meshivah lived in the grace of his father paid the price for. We live in the grace that Jesus paid the price for and the abundance of his inheritance, not on our own merits, but on the merits of the master. So as you are embracing God's grace that God offers you, his grace is seeking you. If you're lost, you can know his grace right now, but you have to receive it. If you're a believer and found yourself in a place where you need his grace, his grace is available to you as well. So this could be the day of your grace. Because God's grace is right here and he loves you. Well, let me pray for you and let me encourage you. Lord, I thank you so much. I pray that you bless every single person. I pray that you encourage their lives. And Lord God, may they walk in the power of your Holy Spirit. And Lord God, give them the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody this week in your name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day. And we'll see you hopefully Sunday. If not Sunday, we'll see you next Monday. God bless you. Bye-bye.